Hey everyone, I'm Nick De La Torre with Awaken Catholic and welcome to Awaken the Word. Today we're reading from the Gospel according to Luke. When some were speaking about the temple, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and gifts dedicated to God, he said, As for these things that you see, the days will come when not one stone will be left upon another. All will be thrown down. They asked him, Teacher, when will this be, and what will be the sign that this is about to take place? And he said, Beware that you are not led astray. For many will come in my name and say, I am he, and the time is near. Do not go after them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for these things must take place first, but the end will not follow immediately. Then he said to them, nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes and in various places, famines and plagues, and there will be dreadful portents and great signs from heaven. But before all this occurs, they will arrest you and persecute you. They will hand you over to synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors because of my name. This will give you an opportunity to testify. So make up your minds not to prepare your defense in advance. For I will give you words and a wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to withstand or contradict. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, by relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair of your head will perish. By your endurance, you will gain your souls. In the passage, he talks about two different forms of martyrdom, white martyrdom and red martyrdom. The white martyrdom is when socially or even amongst our family members, we have to die to ourselves. We have to die in the image of those around us, those whose respect we long for. And then he transitions into the red martyrdom. He says that even some of our family members may turn us over to be killed. Our Lord is calling us to deepen our resolve, deepen our our sense of virtue, the need, the urgency to witness to truth. And he's telling us here that if we rely on him completely, he will provide for us the grace the courage and the words themselves to witness well to him, but only if we avail ourselves to it, if we're willing to, if we desire to be martyrs, if we desire to stand for the truth, even when it calls into question our social stature, how well we are or aren't liked, or even our very lives. Am I willing to die to myself that way? I know I have a long way to go, and I really pray that God helps me to become ready for that. My invitation to you is to pray for the same and to muster up that courage to bless your meal in front of other people. And if you're already doing that comfortably, then whatever that next step is, wherever you find yourself feeling trepidatious or or afraid to bear witness to your, your authentic Catholic faith. Pray for the courage to do that well. I have been Nick. This has been Awaken the Word. And before you go, I just need you to know that Jesus loves you. Peace.